Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a mermaid look. Now this isn't a look I would wear every single day. It's going to be quite colourful but I'm just going to start by priming my eyes as I want to keep the colours quite pigmented and I do want them to stay on. So I'm using Kiko's Pearly Eye Primer and I'm just applying this right up to my brow bone. So as I said, it's going to be quite colourful, so the colours I've just pointed out to you are going to be the main colours I'm using. But first I'm going to start on the base and I'm using this lovely sort of lilac -y, pale purple colour. Once I've got the base done, I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going into this slightly bluer purple and we're just going to apply this to our crease and smoke this in with our base colour. This just adds some depth to the eye and adds a nice effect to it as well. Next I'm using my liner brush and I'm going to use the same bluey lilac and I'm just going to use this underneath my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit more and add some definition to the shape of my eyes. Once I've done that, I am going to apply this deeper purple just to the outer corners of my eyes. What this is doing, this is just adding some more smoke and some more shadow to the look, making it a little bit more dramatic and giving it that nice sort of watercolour texture. Now at the moment my look is quite purpley so I'm just going to apply a pale pink shimmer to the balls of my eyes just to act as a highlighter and break up the colours a little bit more. With all the colours in place I'm just going to take my blending brush and smoke all of them all together to get rid of any harsh lines. I'm doing this in circular motions just to keep the eyeshadow fluid and make it look a lot more smoky. Blending done, it's time to use my base. I, as usual, I'm using my Maybelline Satin Finish Foundation and my Rimmel Good to Glow Highlighter Cream, both on my foundation brush at the same time. And we're just dabbing this in our key areas and we're gonna blend this back and forth like painting motion, just to keep the foundation warm and to give me a nice even finish. Thank you. 
So that's the base done. I'm just going to add some shape to my face by going into this rose gold blusher from my Rimmel Contour Kit. I'm just going to smile and apply this to the natural apples of my cheeks, blending upwards. Again, defining the shape of my face, I'm using my Rimmel 24 Hour Wake Me Up Concealer. I'm just applying this to the important areas such as my forehead, cupid's bow, nose and chin. And once I've applied this underneath my eyes as well, I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender in a patting motion rather than rubbing. That way it provides a natural highlight as well and keeps any dark circles or any mistakes hidden. The next step in achieving the mermaid look is probably the most unrealistic me makeup technique I've ever used. Yes, that is a net top and yes, I am holding it on my forehead. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my stipple brush into the blues and purples and I'm literally just going to pack some colour on and then I'm going to shade in my forehead while holding on my net top and this is hopefully going to give a nice sort of mermaidy, scaly um, look. So as you can see, to be easier. I've decided to pop it on my head and I'm just applying the colour in a circular motion. Now it is a little bit difficult to see but you can hopefully see it once we're done and hopefully that adds to the mermaid look. So time to take my silly hat off. Alright, as you can see there are green and purple and blue patches on my head. I'm just going to blend that in with my blusher brush. On the camera you can't really see but in real life it did have a semi scaly look. It could have been better maybe if I'd used a different type of eyeshadow. But I'm just going to go over my base with my baked highlighter from Makeup Revolution. Just over my cheekbones and this will hopefully give a nice sort of mystical sheen. Just to add to the mystical look, I'm taking some fairy dust. Don't ask me where I got this from, but it literally is a dry glitter that you just pat on to the key points in your face. I'm applying this to my upper cheekbones and probably on my cheeks as well, just to add some sparkle. Again, the camera doesn't really show it, but it did look nice whenever the light hit it. Sparkle finished, it's time to apply some lipstick. I'm using this nice purple colour from Kiko, you can't see it at the moment, but it's very soft and creamy and goes well with the eyes. Almost done, it's just time to add some definition to the eyes. So I'm applying this golden olive eyeliner to my waterline and to my upper lash line as well, just to give that sort of nice cat eye flick. And it does also make my eyes pop out, especially when I'm wearing this purple eyeshadow.
So guys, just to finish off, I'm applying my Kiko Unmeasurable Length Mascara. No look is complete without a flash of mascara, and when that's finished on our top lashes, that's my mermaid look finished. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Any ideas, let me know, and I'll see you soon. Bye!